What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Pass to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Um, I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody is doing well today. Just saying, just saying. Um, okay, so the channel message I received was um, huge discrimination in a workplace um, against against feminine energies is about to backfire in a huge, huge way on masculine energies. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Huge, huge discrimination against masculine uh, masculine energies. Huge discrimination. Mascul it sounds like masculine energies are performing this huge discrimination in a workplace situation, whatever it is and however it plugs in your life, against feminine energies. Um, it's about to backfire on the masculine energies in a huge way. So you plug it in your life, however it resonates. Um, discrimination there. So... Um, you can't discriminate in a workplace just to let everybody know. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't perform favoritism. You can't discriminate. Um, it happens all the time, i.e. my situation yesterday. But you, can, you can't do that because it will come around and bite you in the ass. It just will. You cannot discriminate based on race, sex, color, i.e. woman, sex, just saying, color, religion. Etc., etc., etc. There's many things you cannot discriminate against. And that's just the truth. Let's see if I can look them all up. But it's masculine energies that have done this or is about to do this, however, that resonates. I have been discriminated against in workplace situations before. I have. I have. Been wrongfully terminated four times now, and all of them were discriminatory. Now, did I file suits on them? No, should I? Yes, just saying. And you can't retaliate against people either in a workplace uh, because they are whistleblow. And that's the truth too. Like gang stalking, that's criminal. That's illegal. And that's retaliation. Just if anybody needs to hear that. Okay. The laws enforced by EEOC protect you from employment discrimination when it involves unfair treatment because of your race, color, religion, or sex, including pregnancy, gender, gender identity, and sexual orientation, national origin, disability, or genetic information, age 40 or older, or genetic information. So I'll read it one more time. The laws enforced by EEOC protect you from employment discrimination when it involves unfair treatment because of your race, color, religion, sex, including pregnancy, gender, gender identity, and sexual orientation, national origin, disability, age 40 or older, um, or genetic information. So you plug it in how it resonates. In this situation, it is masculine energies that um, have discriminated um, energy or energies that have discriminated against a feminine energy or energies. How of that resonates? And we have karma on the bottom of the deck. A huge, 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 huge investigation is about to be open. Huge. Several masculine energies position of high authorities are about to be terminated. And several people, drug users, are about to be terminated. Surprise drug testing is about to come very soon, very quickly, in one particular workplace site. It is about to 
shock a lot of people. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Okay. So workplace um, discrimination and it's against a woman or women. Uh, you can't do that against your right. Um, against just saying again, you can't discriminate because they're a woman. You just can't do it. You can't freaking do it, man. Um, just saying, just saying against um, unfair treatment because of sex, i.e. being a woman. Um, and favoritism is included in that. You can't show favoritism against people. They're there to work. They're there to do their job. They're there to learn. They're there to, you know, learn if they're on, you know, whatever, learn, work, whatever. But they're there to do their job. They're not there for gossip and drama. They're not there to be pulled into crazy crap. They're there to do their job, work and get paid and leave, period. Um, seriously. So it's a ma it's masculine energy or energies against a woman or women in this situation. Um, now you have to plug your life out resonates, uh, but the EEOC uh, protects from employment discrimination or they're supposed to protect from employment uh, discrimination. But I heard a huge uh, investigations about them done. I wonder if it's by the EEOC. I hope it is. Um, a huge investigations about to be done. And then I heard um, uh, um, some kind of surprise drug testing is about to be rolled out in a particular site, location, facility, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Heard it's about to, uh, several people are about to get fired because they will be tested positive for drugs. And it's about to shock a lot of people. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, now, that's that's not wrongful termination. That is, you know, rightfully terminated. Um, just saying, just saying. If you test talk positive for drugs you're not supposed to be taking, that is not wrongful termination. Just so you know, that's not discrimination because of being a woman or any any other um, facet that protects one in the EEOC. And I'm serious about that. Unfair treatment because of your race, color, religion, or sex, including pregnancy, gender, gender identity, and sexual orientation, national origin, disability, age 40 or older, or genetic information. Karma is about to come around to these masculine energy or energies. Um, and karma is going to come around to these secret drug user or users um, that apparently never thought they would get caught, but they are about to get caught because. Um, somebody, it sounds like somebody is about to get wind or they're about to either get wind from somebody or reasonable, suspicious, reasonable cause to test. And it sounds like they're going to test everybody in this site, unit, group, facility, location, site, what have you. It sounds like they're going to test everybody, but they have reasonable cause and suspicion to do the, su the surprise drug testing. And it sounds like it's about to yield some results. And um, that's karma right there. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The ones that are about to get terminated are about to be pissed. Karma cycling around. And a particular feminine energy is about to be contacted by someone in the EEOC very soon. The information she gives will be shocking. It's really going to prompt a huge investigation. Huge. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Wow, we are pulling EEOC energy in here. I was wondering if we were. Um, so a huge investigation is going to be done. Now, the first one, I wonder if that's EEOC investigation or if that's like company-wide investigation. It really could resonate in a million different ways. Or it could be police investigation or some other kind of investigation. Maybe it's feds or something else. I mean, I don't know, but some kind of huge investigation. I'm thinking company-wide or, um, or maybe it's um, community-wide or something of that nature, but some kind of huge investigation. And then I heard the EEOC is going to contact a feminine energy. And I heard the information she provides is going to be shocking to the EEOC. So, it sounds like the, someone from the EEOC is going to contact a feminine energy. It might be one of the ones that has been discriminated against in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and that's going to prompt an investigation. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is serious stuff. Serious, serious, serious stuff.
But it sounds like it really needs to um, happen. It really sounds like it really needs to happen. I'm serious about that. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, the EEOC is Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. For anybody that doesn't know, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission um, protects your rights um, in employment situations, basically. Uh, or supposed to. It's supposed to. So um, you really have to plug yourself in, how it resonates. And someone really, really wants to gang stalk a particular feminine energy nail, but they know they cannot nail because of the past. And someone wants to gang stalk a feminine energy, but they know they cannot nail because of the past. So someone wants to gang stalk a feminine energy, I, I think because they have discriminated against her in some shape, form, or fashion in an employment situation, because that's what we're pulling in. Pulling in the EEOC, Equal Opportunity, um, um, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, and we're pulling in um, employment and um, favoritism and discrimination and all that crazy crap in here. So I think it's um, somebody wants to gang stalk a feminine energy that possibly terminated her or, or showed some kind of favoritism for somebody else in an employment situation against her. And they're pissed because maybe they're being exposed publicly or they're being exposed in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, they don't want to be exposed. They, I heard they want to gang stalk her, but they know they cannot because of the past. So they have done something terrible to her in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm feeling workplace, but it could be other areas. But they know they cannot gang stalk her because I think they know she's going to speak out on it. Um, that's exactly what I think. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So karma, karma coming around to the people that show favoritism, the people that um, discriminate in workplace situations, the drug users that apparently think they can go to work and shoot up or snort up or an orally ingest and get away with it. And basically karma is about to come around for them. Karma. Spirit messages in your plug in. There is about to be huge, huge, huge changes in workplace situations very soon and very quickly. Okay, I heard there's about to be huge, huge changes in workplace situations very soon and very quickly. So huge changes coming in workplace situations very soon and very quickly. Um, I'm thinking it's the surprise work, um, drug screening. One of those is. One, it could be a visit from the EEOC. Because I heard a huge investigation, then I heard EEOC is going to contact a feminine energy. And then the information she gives is going to shock, I guess, the person that contacts this uh, feminine energy. Uh, or feminine energies. I heard feminine energy, but in some situations it could be two plus feminine energies. You have to plug it in how it resonates. You could be a person from the EEOC about to do this. You could be a feminine energy or energy is about to be contacted by the EEOC. You could be a person about to get surprise drug tested. In a workplace situation, you could be the person about to roll out the surprise drug testing in the uh, workplace situation. You could be the masculine um, emperor S type energies that have abused their power because of discrimination and favoritism. They're about to get terminated. You could be the one about to terminate these masculine energies that have abused their power because of discrimination and favoritism. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, you could be the one about to make huge changes in your workplace situation. I'm not sure. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do. We have Earth Magic, which is the Earth's, uh, Earth sign card in here. A Taurus is about to really, really, really regret their connection with the Libra. Seriously, seriously, seriously regret it. And a water sign feminine is about to be exposed for fraud. There's about to be a very particular confession by one of these terminated masculine energies. It's about to be damning to some of these people. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. So there, um, one of these masculine energies, uh, imp like abuse of power, emperor reverse energies, that's about to be terminated soon. Um, they're in a very, very high position of authority. They make good-ass money. I mean, just seriously. They make good-ass money. 
Um, but they abuse their power. And, I mean, you can't do that crap. You just can't do it. People do it. You're not supposed to. And that's just the truth. Um, and they know they're not supposed to. I mean, the laws are plastered all over in public areas. All over. And online. And it's just the truth. Um, but, anyways, um, one of these people that are about to get terminated, masculine emperor reverse energies, I heard um, a very significant confession from them soon is about to, um, it sounds like detriment, this water sign fraud, water sign fem fraud, um, and um, maybe this Taurus or this Libra, because I heard a Taurus is, um, is regretting ever being connected to a Libra. So it can be a masculine or fem Taurus, masculine or fem Libra, but there's some kind of connection between a Taurus and a Libra. The Taurus is horribly regretting this connection between this Libra in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. They could be, it could be like baby mama, baby daddy energy. It could be employer, employee um, energy. It could be some kind of sneaky link energy. I'm not sure, but some kind of connection between a Torrent and a Libra. This Torrent is really, really, really regretting this connection between this Libra in some shape, form, or fashion. And they're going to connect, uh, continue to regret it. And they're going to continue to regret it. That's what I heard. And they're going to continue to regret it. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Torrent in a Libra and energy connection and a water sign fraud about to be exposed. Uh, fem fraud. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, Henry, Jupiter charts. They're about to be exposed as a fraud. And a Sagittarius feminine as a fraud. And a Sagittarius feminine as a fraud. A Gemini is getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. And a Sagittarius feminine as a fraud. A Gemini is getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. So Gemini energy in here and Sag fem fraud energy. We got two frauds, um, two fem frauds. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine fraud and a Sagittarius feminine fraud. A Gemini is getting a huge wake-up call about a Sag fem fraud. We've got the water sign fraud too. Um, and then some kind of information that one of these emperor reverses over here, masculine energy is about to get terminated, is about to reveal on one of these people, Sag Fem Fraud, Water Sign Fem Fraud, or the Taurus or the Libra, is going to basically detriment them in some shape, form, or fashion. It's some kind of damning information that's going to, I think it's going to expose somebody down here. So you plug it in, how it resonate. Um, Earth Sign Energy, very strong in here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy. Um, definitely forward energy down here. We have other signs in here as well. These people might have earth sign, earth, earth in their chart, or you might be an earth sign that works in the EEOC about to contact a feminine energy. You might be an earth sign that's about to be contacted by the feminine, um, by the EEOC. You might be an earth sign that's about to be terminated. You might be somebody's an earth sign that's about to terminate one of these people. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. Are you high vibing or you're not? I don't know. You have to plug, only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates. A very significant death of a Capricorn feminine, older Capricorn feminine, is about to be very, very, very significant. There is someone in her wheel that no one knows is in her wheel. It's about to be very shocking. And there's going to be nothing her family can do about it. This person will get the money. They're going to try hard not to make it happen, but it will happen. A lawyer will contact this person, feminine energy. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. And we have a death in here about to occur of a Capricorn fem. Older Capricorn Femme. Now, older in the Tarot is deemed as like 40 or above. But you have to plug this Capricorn Femme however they resonate. They could be 40, 50, 60, 75. I mean, you have to plug them in how it resonates. Uh, but an older Caps Femme. So I'm presuming 40 and above. They have Capricorn in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Femme, Henry, Jupiter. But apparently they have a feminine energy in their wheel. But nobody knows about even their family. Um, and apparently this feminine energy is supposed to be getting some kind of money in this wheel, but her family doesn't even know. 
that this feminine energy is in her wheel. But it sounds like she's about to pass away soon. Um, and I heard when they the family finds out this feminine energy is in the wheel, they're going to try to stop it. But I heard there's going to be nothing they can do because the lawyer, I think the lawyer that's involved with the wheel is going to reach out to the feminine energy. And I heard the feminine energy will get will get the money. So you plug it in how it resonates. So we have a death of a Capricorn fem coming up soon too. Um, you plug in her, and it's sad that her family is going to try to stop this feminine energy from getting the money. But this Capricorn fem, she has every right to put whoever she wants in her wheel to get whatever they want um, or whatever she wants them to have, of course. And that's just the truth. Everybody has that right to do that in their wheel, and that's that's the truth. That is the truth, and she, including this Capricorn fem, older Capricorn fem, she could have caps in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mid, Haver, Jupiter charts. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular water sign, feminine energy, is about to get inundated with communication in person, text, email, messenger. It's not going to be pretty communication in a Sagittarius fem. So stressed out. They know they're about to be exposed. And it's about to come very negatively for them, and they are right. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So we have um, two fem fraud energies in here, a Sag fem fraud and a um, water sign fem fraud. Um, somebody is exposing them. I think at least one emperor reverse is going to expose them, and maybe you exposing them. If you know this information, it might be somebody else. Somebody's about to expose this information. But however it resonates, um, I heard they're about to get inundated with people in person they don't want to speak to. Might be investigators. It might be people from high position, you know, high, like, EEOC energy. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. Um, we were just pulling EEOC in here earlier. Um, it might be, it's from people they don't want to speak to, I'll tell you that. It's people they don't want to communicate with, they don't want to speak to, um, because they know they frauded. They know they have frauded, and they don't want to speak on it. But I heard they know, they're going to about to get so stressed out because they know they have done this. They know they frauded person, people, place, family, situation, etc. in the past. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And they know they're about to get caught. I heard they're right. They are about to get caught. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.